Hi, this is Claire Smith, a physician assistant at Progressive Pediatrics. Today I wanted to talk with you all about some good, quick sleep hygiene techniques to help a kid who's having a hard time sleeping. Um, the first and um, most common issue uh, that we have is screen usage in the evenings. Um, so try to not let your child watch any screens um, for about an hour and a half before their bedtime. Um, the blue light from screens stops your brain from producing the sleep hormone melatonin, so it can make you feel like it's the middle of the day, even in the evening, and then you can have a really hard time trying to fall asleep. Um, the second tip that I wanted to talk with you guys about is having a good schedule. Um, so trying as hard as you can to have your child go to sleep at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every morning. Even on weekends and holidays, don't let your child sleep in for more than an hour or so. Um, naps are fine to do, um, but just allow them to nap between the hours of two and four. Um, any sleep after 4 p.m., even a 10, mi 10 minute cat nap can take away about an hour of sleep from your child's night sleep. Um, another really good tip um, is to exercise in the middle of the day um, because then you're gonna get your child really nice and tired to have a really nice, good, deep sleep sleep in the evening. Um, exercise right before bed though can keep your child a little bit more awake because it does take a few hours to wind down um, from that exercise. Sometimes parents will consider melatonin and this is something that we can definitely talk about in the office. Try these tips first um, and then if you feel like you do need to use melatonin, we can talk about starting at a very low dose and then increasing gradually if we feel like it's needed, but really try to maximize and capitalize on these sleep hygiene techniques first. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll see you guys in the office. Take care. Bye.